Hello, today I'm going to show you how to edit and customize the pink zebra baby shower invitation right here. So after you download it, so hit the link below and download this invitation or the whole theme if you want. Once you do that, you want to go to the folder that the invitation is on, okay, is at. And then you're going to right click it and open it up with your photo editing software. I use GIMP. Okay, GIMP, GIMP. It's a free uh, photo editing software. So if you don't have Photoshop or some other kind of software, I highly recommend GIMP. It's great, it's easy to use, and it's absolutely free. So once you get it, you want to get the toolbar here, and you want to, as you can see, this, um, the invitations right here, you want to get the color picker. And you want to choose a color you want to type with, okay? Now, everything here is white and pink inside the invitation, so I, I recommend black, right? Black. So you want to click black. you got the black color here, and then you want to hit um, this big A here, which is uh, the, the typing function. And then you're going <clears> to <throat> you're gonna want to choose the font you want to use. Uh, if you watched my videos, you know that I like, I like uh, comic sans but you can choose anything else uh let's try something new today let's go with um i think candera candara i really like that font as well candara there we go Is it, am i pronouncing it candara okay candara bold i'm going to use that today and you also want to make sure that the font's big enough um let's Put it up to 60, 65. That would work. Okay, cool. So now you want to edit and customize your um, pink zebra baby shower invitation. So first you want to put the RSVP to phone number that the guest has to RSVP to. So let's use our imagination here. 000 111 and uh, I don't know. Two, 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 two. Okay, good. Perfect. You want to slide it in. Okay. Under the, I mean, above the dotted lines. So it fits perfectly. Good. Then you want to move to the registry area. And let's say your registry is, you're registered at, um, well, let's say Baby RS. Like that. Good. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's make that uh mm, 70? 70 would be fine. Let's try 70. That looks good. Okay. And then let's try from. And you want to put the name of the expecting parents. So let's put uh, Mary. And Bob mm, Smith. Just like that. And you want to make sure it fits nicely. Again, above the dash lines, the dotted lines, so it looks nice. Place. Let's say you're having it at someone's home. You want to put the address, of course. So let's put in um, uh, 4444. Um, Park Road, Park Road, um, Ohio, and the zip code, which is, I don't know, 44, let's put, let's use our imagination, 12121. One, two, one like that and let's slide it in like that perfect and now you want to put the time so let's uh, again use our imagination the let's say it starts at 1 p.m. 
um, on 1 p.m. on Wednesday, April 7th. 2014 perfect like that so now you're done um you want to flatten this so you go up up here i know you can't see if you go to images and you click flatten okay now that you have this this is going to be your static information uh, every time you want to create a new invitation for some other guest just uh, you want to save this as is, as it as the way it is, and then you want to um, use your GIMP, and every time you're gonna put a different person here, different person's name here, and 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 print it. Oh, that brings another very important point. You want to print this uh, on 4R cardstock paper. Let me repeat. You want to print this on 4R cardstock paper. It's the best paper to print this on, and it looks great. So yeah, uh, let's put in someone's name here just to show you. Um, Susie Q. Now nah, let's that's that's corny. Let's try. Uh, um, let's try uh, Jane. Jane. Um, Parker. That's like my default name. I noticed I was, I'm either saying Parker or Smith. Uh, Smith, I understand. I don't know why I'm saying Parker. I mean, I use Parker as an example all the time. There you go. You might want to make this bigger for um, the guest name here. Let's blow up the font to 85. Let's see what that looks like. Sorry. Sorry, what's going on here? Yeah, like that. Okay, that's a nice big and bold so yeah there you go here's one invitation ready to go just uh, print it out and uh, create an another one simple as that uh, this is just one part of the entire pink zebra baby shower printable theme here is the entire theme as you can see you get the invitation plus a wish list sheet a baby shower a pink zebra game labels these are great to label your cupcakes with or other food dishes with and what i really like here is the banner okay this is what you get down below the banner a pink zebra banner the invitation of course the game the baby animal game for the pink zebra and the wish list sheet this is where your guests are able to um write down wishes for the for the baby and um the labels so that's right. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Click the link below and uh, claim your pink zebra baby shower printable theme. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day.